quarter square to that line right there. Are they? Perfect, perfect fundamentals, perfect stroke because you got through the gate, right? Perfect aim because you had the line lined up. What was the one thing you did that, that caused you to miss that putt? You didn't hit it with the correct speed. Right? The GC2 set up here with the HMT and the GC2 is a launch monitor that is going to tell me ball speed. It's going to tell me the spin that's on the ball, the trajectory of the ball, where the ball is carrying to, how far it's ending up. So it gives me everything that the golf ball does. The HMT is the other attachment. is going to tell me where I hit it on the club face, club head speed, club path, face angle. With this, if I hit behind it at all, I'm going to hit the board. So it gets me coming in and making solid contact with the ball. And then when you go in here, you have to flip it with your hands to square up the face. Where here, I can just rotate my body on the grip like that. Put away on my forward foot. I see a lot of you trying to scoop the ball. So Jeff was coming through, club's going behind him, and he's his, his, his left wrist is, is breaking down right here. Here, this gets you to feel the connection between your body and the club. So you're not, see how I draw, I lose the ball. Okay. See my left wrist breaking down? Here, Jeff, put this in. Here, look at this. Give me the first one. Wow. Does that feel better? Yeah. I want to do one of these. Okay. And I put this little goal post out here for you so you got something to kind of visually There you go, Anessis. That's a drill you can do every single night. In the winter time, at home, a few minutes a night. Look at that. Right. Huh? That's a great drill. Don't hold on to it. Don't hit it, just swing it back. Swing it back. There you go. You're loading into your right. I feel the difference? It does. It does, yeah. Like that, instead of forcing myself to catch up and come across it. There, and then, and then up. That's what you turn. Okay, stop. Now, move the left knee, now release it. So he's moving to, into his left side. That's the first move, and then he's releasing it immediately. 